What's good, YouTube? It's Flash. I'm back at it again with another video. Today, you know I got a wave cut. Low taper. Well, we're going to go with like a mid taper, kind of, sort of. Mid, low taper. Waves on the top. Without further ado, let's get right into it. I want to go in with my wave brush. And I'm going to brush this 360 waves all the way down so I can make sure we get them them patterns down clean. So when I go in with my clipper, everything can be laid down perfect. I want to go in with my clipper all the way open and set my first line. And after I set my first line, we're going to get that taper started. First guard I'ma use, of course, is my one guard with my clipper all the way closed. And I'ma just go up like an inch just to set my first line. I would like to say like the wave cuts are like the best cuts, like the easiest cuts to really complete or learn how to do. Simply because if you leave the hair on top of the head, you can somewhat fade all the way up. As you can see here, I'm fading all the way up into the waves. So after I'm done with my clipper all the way closed with the one, I'm going to drop that thing all the way open and I'm going to fade into the hair. Another note to pay attention to, if your client doesn't want their hair all the way down wavelength and they want their hair like at a 1.5 or a 2 or a 2 and a half, this is a bad idea. But since... He want his hair all the way down wavelength, meaning he want me to take his hair down with the one halfway or all the way open. This is a good gesture to finish this taper. I'm going go in with my clipper and I'm gonna set my first ball line right under that fade that I just set. And I know y'all are probably looking like, bro, why is it higher on that, on the right side, but the left side? So the way that I record, I cut from the right side and then I rock all the way to the left side. So you're going to see here shortly and I'm going to go to the left side and then even that side out. This step, I'm going in with my clipper halfway open, and all I'm doing is getting that line out that I just created with my clipper. Right here, I'm going in with my half guard halfway open, and I'm just dabbing at the little line that I just created with my clipper halfway open. And now that we almost done with the neck taper, I'll probably do two more steps, and then I'm going to take the hair down, and y'all going to see the taper come all the way together. It's honestly better to leave the hair how it is, and then once you're done with the taper, take the hair down, and I'm going to show y'all that.
in this clip right here, I'm really just retracing my steps for real, trying to get that line as blurry and cleaner as possible with my half guard halfway open. There is still a line at the bottom of the taper that I created with my other clipper. So in order to get that line out, I'm gonna rock my clipper from halfway to all the way open and just freestyle to get that line out. So in this next clip, I'm gonna go in with my one guard halfway open. And this is like the best lever to have simply because it gives like a good length. It's not too light, not too dark. And it's gonna bring the taper all the way together. As you can see, I told y'all I trust the process. I don't have to do anything because I went up in the taper with the uh, one guard all the way open. So as I'm taking the hair down, the taper coming all the way together. Edging up behind the ear and following along that neck taper, I always like to keep my angles at a V. So I like to edge it up all the way until I see a V to bring everything all the way together. And I do the same thing for the side taper. I always keep the hair on the head. And I kind of just work in the transition of, I don't take that hair down until I complete that taper because I can really do whatever I want with that taper just because I know I'm taking that hair down eventually. In this clip, I started this taper with my clipper all the way open. And I'm using the corner of my clipper, kind of creating like an oval shape in the fade just because you don't want to take too much hair off. I'm gonna go in and set my first ball line right under that because I don't want the taper to be too high. So right here, I'm gonna go in with my clipper closed, just one notch down, just to brighten that line up and kind of blend it. And then I'm gonna go in with my one all the way closed just to debulk that taper a little bit. In this clip, I'm going in with my half guard all the way closed just to debulk that line just a little bit. But as you can see, I ain't go all the way into the hair yet. I'm just blending that line at the bottom of the taper. I'm pretty much happy with how the taper is looking so far. So I'm gonna go in with my one guard halfway open and just start taking that hair down in the front. Right here, I still noticed it was bulked there. So I just took that one guard, dropped that thing all the way open, and now I'm just debulking as I go. In the case of me trying to get that blend to where I want it, I like to drop the clipper from all the way open to halfway and kind of just like flick off the head until I, I get that taper to where I like it. Whenever it's time for me to edge up the back of the ear, I always want to ensure I keep my clients safe by holding their ear and then I'm using a corner of my blade and I'm taking my time just because I want that line as crispy as possible.
my client stated that he don't want his beard anymore. He just want to keep the goatee. So I'm going to just use my clipper just to clean up all that hair off the face. I'm gonna go in with my one guard halfway open and just clean up the rest of the hair on the left side of the head. A lot of the time in my videos, I like to speed up the right side just because I already gave y'all an in-depth tutorial about the left. So I'm just speed these clips up. And let's get right into it. Last but not least, the edge up. So right now I wanna go in with my mousse leather. I just wanna clean that hairline up and lay that hairline down. I also like to go in and brush that mousse in with a clipper brush, simply because it helps breaks down the oils and dirt. Then I'm going to go in with a dry paper towel just to clean all that mousse up. When it comes to the edge up, I always like to turn the client head towards me just so I can see the entire hairline and make sure everything is crispy and even. I like to always start my edge ups in the middle and then rock all the way to the right and then back to the left. Here I am working on the left vertical bar and then I'm gonna start working on the left C cup.
Then I'll move to the right side of the head to start working on the right vertical bar and then the right C cup. It's always good to stop in your track as you edging up and then look at both of the vertical bars and make sure they're even. Like I will put the clipper in the middle of the head just to make sure it's even and then start working on the right side. Here I went to the left side because I noticed it was just a little bit tiny off. There's nothing wrong with retracing your steps. You always want to make sure your edge up is on point. And then here, I'm going to turn the head and make sure both sides is even and looks good. And for the best part, I'm going to go in with my Tune 45 Black just to darken that hairline up and just bring the haircut all the way together. This is like tough to really teach. You just kind of got to learn this on your own. But I always like to stay at least two inches from the head so it don't be too black. And then just slightly airbrush it on. When I'm all done with the enhancement, I like to go back over with my edgers just to make that line more crispier now that the spray is inside the hairline. And there we have it. I wasn't sure to call this a low or a mid taper, but we all done. If you made it to the end, thank you for watching. As you can see, this wave cut came all the way together. You trusted the process, you followed the steps, and you're going to get your hair cut just like this. We out.